welcome back to my channel, Living With Mika. I am coming today, <laughs> which I know is so overdue. <laughs> uh, it's a hair washing video, you guys. I haven't done one of these in a while on my channel, but I thought it was a great time to come in and wash my hair and have some girl talk, you know, about my procedure I had done back in August uh, 5th. Okay, you guys. So, for all those who are new and you are just tuning into my channel, I want to say thank you. I really, really, really appreciate you guys for watching me. And, you know, I hope you're liking a little bit of what you see. I know I haven't been consistent. I'm sorry about that. Um, I'm going to try to do better. Right now, I'm going to be washing my hair with um, nourishing coconut milk uh, shampoo and conditioner. Brum, brum, brum. I have never used this before, so this is going to be my first time. Read with me. It says, indulge your senses with this exclusive blend with coconut milk, coconut oil, and ultra whipped egg white proteins. This exotic formula helps add strength, elasticity, hydration, and balance for healthy hair, okay? And that's what you're getting here. And there goes the con there goes the conditioner. And yeah, we're gonna get into it. That it has to offer in my hair, honey. So it's been a long time since I've sat <laughs> since I've sat here and talked to you guys and done a hair washing video. So I hope I'm able to give what I'm supposed to give. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's been a minute. But yeah, you guys, um, what do you guys think before I get started about me doing Vlogmas? Um, you know what, I'm trying to jump out of my box <laughs> and do something new. So I'm thinking about doing Vlogmas. I'm sorry if I'm not looking into the camera, you guys. Um, it's really hard. It's really hard for me. It's cute for me. I'm so sorry. I'm trying. But yeah, I'm really thinking about doing Vlogmas because um, I have my son girlfriend living with me. She's having her baby in uh, December 23rd. So right now my son, he is going through some stuff. Like, okay, let's keep it real, let's keep it 100, he's in jail. In due time, we'll talk about it. Right now, I'm not going to, because I just don't feel comfortable talking about his situation right now. Um, we'll just leave it at that. But yeah, his, his girlfriend's living with us right now, and she's having their baby, and their baby is due at the end of December. So, I'm thinking about vlogging vlogmas all the way up until Christmas and kind of sharing her um, journey of her last month of pregnancy with you all um, so you know comment down below and let me know what you guys think about that I would you know I guess if you don't comment then I'm, I, I'm just gonna do what I do you know do what makes me happy I've been using this product for a while you guys and I don't know if you guys have tried it but I'm just telling you, if you have not tried it, honey, get on the bandwagon and give it a try because <laughs> it is life, you know. I have started using this Olé uh, body wash lately. Um, the one, I just threw the container away because I just got done with it. The one that I just got done using was the collagen one. That one was nice. I really enjoyed it. But this one right here is the vitamin E uh, one. It says vitamin, it, it has vitamin B and vitamin E. And it's a cleansing and brightening body wash. Yes. This one right here smells so freaking good, you guys. If you have not checked into this, get it. 
please get it. It smells wonderful. Like you can get this at your local drugstore. And Oile has been around for many, many years. So you know their product is, you know, it's good. You know, so uh, yeah, um, been using it lately. Love it. I'm going to continue using it. So let's get into this video. I'm gonna give me a sip of water right quick. Mm. So back in August, I woke up with a flat tire, you guys. So I will post pictures um, for you guys so you'll know what I mean by I woke up with a flat tire. <laughs> but um, my husband nicknamed it flat tire, you guys. I didn't know what to call it. All I know is that I woke up and my one of my boobs were flattened. I... Um, originally had breast implants I got breast implants uh, back in 2005 when I was when I was a dancer <laughs> um, I had two kids and I did not like my saggy boobs sweetie um, it was so funny cuz uh, I did not know that my plastic surgeon kept all the pictures from before and after so they did have photos of me when I first walked in. And I wish I would have like snapshot the photos on my phone. Cause, but I wasn't really thinking about it at the time because I was just still going through the processing of being shocked <laughs> of my itty bitty saggy booby committee. <laughs> it was so funny you guys. I used to have piercings. <laughs> I used to have breast piercings in my boobs, so yeah, it was very, very embarrassing to say the least. When I saw the breast, I was so glad that I um, made the decision to get breast implants. Lord knows, I was excited I made that decision because, honey, them little things was not... Nothing to be uh, jumping around and turning cartwheels over, you know? I, I kind of understand why females get insecure about their boobs now you know you want to be you want to feel like a woman you know you want to boobs I ain't gonna lie make you feel like a woman you know if, you know if you don't have boobs then you kind of feel less than and I get it so I got breast implants back in 2005 and I when I got my breast implants I was not planning on having any more children you guys um, when I got my breast implants, uh, my husband and I, we weren't, we weren't, I would have never thought in a million years that he would have became my husband. He's friends, okay? Some people want to call my husband a sugar daddy, okay? If that makes you happy to call him a sugar daddy, then yeah, he was my daddy. Okay, puppy. Got my breast done, 2005, wasn't planning on having any kids. And I ended up getting married 2000, when did we get married? 2009? And we had Malachi 2011. And so being pregnant with Malachi, I gained a lot of weight, you guys. So I was like 110, 115 pounds before I got had Malachi, and then right after I had Malachi, I was like 160. I'm only what am I like close to five feet, four eleven. So you know my boobs got really really big um, with the milk and the weight gain. And then after I had him, you know, I was slowly, slowly losing weight. Uh, so now I'm down to like, I go back and forth between 145 and 150. Lord knows I'm trying to at least get down to 120. Haven't gotten there yet. I've been the same size for, I swear, about two, three years now. I don't know why my <laughs> weight will not drop. But it's okay. I mean, you know what? I feel like I'm not really doing what I could be doing for it to drop. I could be doing doing my part of uh, exercising, dieting, and things like that. But I'm not. And I'm not working out. I do work. I am 
a busy mom, but I'm not like working out constantly every day. So yeah, I, anyways, that's probably why my weight's not going down, but I'm glad it's not going up either. Moving on. I woke up. <laughs> I can't remember what day it was in August. I just know it was August of 2020. And I woke up and I was like feeling my breasts and um, one was plumpy and the other one was not. And I was freaking out. And I called my plastic surgeon and they told me that Everything would be all right because it was saline. It was not silicone, it was saline. So don't trip, you know, you're okay. And pretty much uh, people wondered what happened, you know, with the fluid. I pretty much pissed it out, you guys. I, it was just water and saline. It was just like salt water, I just peed it out. Um, I didn't get sick, I didn't feel anything, you know, wrong with me at all. I mean, I do know that the doctor said that it was probably just a lot of wear and tear on the breast with me gaining weight and losing weight. As I had my mammogram done and the lady that did my mammogram, I mean, she was pretty harsh to the breast. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. She was squeezing them. She was putting them in this damn machine. She was pressing them down really hard, you know, and and that ain't gonna lie, it pissed me the hell off because it did hurt. You know, when you got breast implants, I don't care. You know, my doctor was like, oh, it should have been okay. No, you know, when you got breast implants, you know, they need to learn how to be a little more gentle because honey, that shit is not cheap. I got my mammogram done in February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Okay, it was five months later. It don't matter. I woke up with a fat, flat ass boob and you know, the doctor said that it was because of weight, you know, weight loss and things like that. So if I would have known when I got my breast implants done that I was gonna turn around and have my little angel Malachi, I wouldn't have gotten my breast implants done. I got my breast implants done because I had my son and my daughter and I knew that if I hadn't found my Prince Charming, honey, my man that I was gonna be with for the rest of my life, you know, I was not going to have another baby. I wasn't gonna have no Debbie, baby daddy ever again in my whole entire life. I was not going to push out no more babies to guys that just didn't wanna be stand up men and marry me and help me raise my kids. No one wants to wake up one day and say, hey, I want to be a baby mama for the rest of my life. No one wants to do that. Like, and if you do, then, you know, power to you. Me, personally, every relationship that I've ever gotten in, I wanted it to be my forever. And they didn't happen like that. But my husband, anyways, he put a ring on it. <laughs> I said he wiped me. Yeah, he wiped me. So, yeah, there is that. He put a ring on it. And he's... You know, he's not perfect and neither am I, but for God's sakes, we are our forever and we are making it happen for the best of us, so yeah. Anyways, we all are in relationships to learn something from one another and yeah. I'm just happy to be on this journey with my honey. I'm learning so much and I'm sure I'm teaching this ass a lot too. My surgery, I, I hate talking y'all because I just ramble. My surgery went great. This time I ended up getting saline. This implant is a cohesive gel. Mentor is the name and they nicknamed it Gummy Bear. The breast implant is under the muscle. over the silicone. Um, reason being is my, they're softer. <laughs> what I was trying to say is that the saline breast was hard. The breast that went flat was my favorite boot. That was a pretty nice soft boot. I think it was the right boob that went limp. And then the left boob was the hard one. That one was 
It was a capsular contractor. My left boob was hard. It, it would not get soft. And they said that it was because I didn't massage it enough. No, I massaged the heck out of that boob. I don't know what the heck it was going on. God, I love my hair. So my doctor was like, you know, he suggested that I do silicone. And like he said, that if the silicone was to bust, it would still stay in the position. It wouldn't like flow out like the saline or anything. He said that it would just stay in the same position. Some people don't even know that it burst or whatever because it just keeps the form. It doesn't move or something. So I don't know, but we'll see how that lasts. <laughs> I, I have my partial hysterectomy two years ago, which thank you, Jesus. I love it. I am not pushing any more Bambinos out of this girl. And um, yeah, so whatever work I have done on my body from this day forth, it will stay, period. Um, so I just wanted <laughs> to say that if you're planning on having any Bambinos in your future and you wanna get breast implants, think about it, sweetie, think about it hard because what happens is you gain weight when you're pregnant right and your boobs fill up with a whole bunch of milk because you gotta feed the child you have to understand my boobs were already big and then I got milk in them so then that means they got bigger like freaking elephant boobs or does elephant have boobs I have no idea but you get what I'm saying like they got like ginormous you know and then after the milk dried up, what do you think happened to them babies? They went, they went from being up to down. Very saggy, honey. So they were heavy as freak and they were saggy. They were like sagging all the way down the stomach and stuff. Baby, if you are planning on having kids in your future, don't get breast implants until after you had them bambinos, honey. I don't give a damn what nobody say. I mean, I had babies and I got boobies. Yeah, you got babies and you got a lot of boobies. That's because the milk stretched them out. But baby, once that milk is dried up, honey, you are not going to stay fluffy unless you are heavy set. I know after I had got my first implants, I'm not going to say any names, but I had this certain person you know running around telling everybody oh yeah she got her breast done she got her breast done before i could even heal you guys before i could even get out of the bed to approach people this person was going around telling everybody yeah she got her breast done she got her breast done and honey look at me i don't need no breasts I don't need no breasts. I mean, comparing ourselves to me, you guys. It was really uncalled for. And the lady that was doing this, she's super over. She's super overweight. So of course you're gonna have breasts, sweetie, because you're 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 big. You're you're a big girl. Bro. So of course you're gonna have breasts, sweetie. All big people have breasts. If you don't, then dang it, you're kind of abnormal, aren't you? So you know, I think she she failed to realize the reason she had breasts was because she was overweight. I'm not talking about the girls that have saggy boobs because Lord knows she, we all have had them and uh, it's just the way God uh, you know designed us you know and uh, if you have perky boobs it's because you did something to get them perky. Um, yeah you can some people can do exercises and, and lift weights and you know build up the muscles in some kind of way to lift them and that's wonderful. Um, but in my case, honey, <laughs> uh, them sad girls were trying to stand to attention, baby. So therefore, I had to go get some assistance. No, let me stop. But anyways, yeah, when I had my flat tire, my husband was just like, "Like, babe, do you um want to get them redone, or do you want to just get them out and just be done with them?" And I did think about it. I was just gonna get them out and be done with it, but. My husband brought to my attention also that, honey, if you get them out, you're not gonna be happy with them. He was like, I know you. You're gonna be, you're not gonna be happy with them. So 
we opted out to getting them redone. The prices of them will be in the description. The doctor that I use will be in the description. Um, there is another doctor that does them and she will be in the description as well. I'm not sure what her rates are. I probably have to call on that. She does really good work. I've seen her work, she does a really good job. I am happy with mine, no doubt, but if I had it to do all over again, I would have made my Oriella's a lot smaller. <laughs> um, and when I spoke to her, she told me why I didn't get them smaller, and that's because I got my incision going straight across and not up and down. I should have gotten them up and down and not straight across so it is what it is I'm happy with what I got I will put the CC's I will put the name of the implants and everything down in the description let me go and wash this out of my hair put the conditioner in and I will be back guys All right, you guys, so I might end up speeding this video up because I most definitely don't want it to be long. So just enjoy the rest of the music as I speed this video up. I forgot to let you all know that my first procedure went um, pretty easy because all I did was got the implants in my recovery i think i was back to work within like three weeks after
the conditioner. I really, really want to clip my ends really, really freaking bad. So, I think I'm going to do that now. I hate split ends. And I really need to just go get them done to a salon and get them done professionally the right way instead of damaging my hair. My daughter hates it. When I do this, I'm just doing it. So I didn't clip that much, you guys. It's just that little tail there because it just seems like it's just all freaking uneven. I hate it. But that's that. I think it's pretty good. I think I did all right. My hair is wet as heck. I have to oil it now. I need to oil it. When I did that swimsuit, uh, my husband raised my swimsuit video for you all. I was lopsided. I was very much lopsided, you guys. I had who one boob was fluffy and the other one was flat. So what I ended up doing uh, to pull that video off was I ordered a prosthetic boob, like a jelly jelly boob from um, Amazon. Y'all, I'm so sorry. Um, that you can't see the top of my hair. Um, this stupid tripod thing that I have now, my old one broke and the one that I have now, it just, it's, it's stupid. It really sucks not to have the right equipment for stuff. I'm telling you like, those. I am really, really going to try to do Vlogmas. Never in my life did it before. Let's try to see if you can get the top of my hair again. I'm going to try to film a little bit every day. Um, do like weekly vlogs um, up until Christmas. I'm going to try. I'm not um, going to make promises, um, but I'm going to just say I'm going to try my best, okay? Um, if you guys like what you see, make sure you comment down below because I will talk back, okay? I will communicate back. You see my sides are very, very short, you all? Yeah, the reason my sides are short, and look at the gray, look at all the gray. Um, the reason they're short is because I was pretty, pretty stressed out last year. And um, I was tugging at my sides, you guys. I was like pulling my sides out of my head because I was going through some things and I was super, super pressed. And so I was just like snatch and snatch and I was just like snatch, you know, I'm just pulling them out. I was going through it, you guys. But what I ended up doing was just shaving them both. <laughs> I said, you know what? I'm just gonna start over. I'm gonna start over. I'm going to just cut my sides off. And I mean, I cut them off bald. Like, I just parted them. I parted them and I just said, with the clippers and I just cut them bald because you know what? I figured if they were gonna grow back any sort of way, I wanted them to grow back even. You know what I mean? Like, why do you have sides grow back all freaking cricket and stuff? No way, Jose. I want my sides to grow back right. Yes. So I'm getting ready to oil my hair with this Dew Grow, the thickness one. And then I am in love with this leave-in conditioner. Yeah, you know what, it's the detangler for 
thick and curly. I don't have thick hair though. It looks like I have thick hair, but I I guess and you guys look at the lid like she's growing you know you just can't tell because she bounces back like ugly like boom like anyways let's get to it so I hope you guys have been doing great you know I hope you guys have a, a wonderful Thanksgiving so it's the night before Thanksgiving and I am going to be doing Thanksgiving dinner here. My husband's going to be spending Thanksgiving with his father. The reason we're doing it that way is because Malachi can't really go to people's houses because, um, you know, he doesn't like crowds and he likes to snatch food off of people's plates and he doesn't care who you are. Like, you know, it's just um, the manners, you know, it's just not there. you like, you know, and don't come for me in the comments because he's autistic and um, honey, trust me, if I could control what goes on in that kid's head, it would have been controlled, okay? Um, he's just autistic and um, if he wants something, he grabs it and he thinks that he's, he thinks that it's okay. He doesn't know any better. He thinks that it's okay to grab stuff. So if he sees something on your plate and it looks delicious, more than likely he's gonna want it. And if he can't get it, then he's going to uh, probably throw a horrible tantrum. So yeah, we're staying at home tomorrow and I'm going to do some greens. Um, I have some smoked ham hock. I'm going to put in my greens. Um, it's a southern thing. If you don't know anything about it, then I just I just don't know what to say. Some people use that damn turkey breast. And I'm sorry. You know, I try to be healthy. I really do, but that turkey breast don't be given. I'm sorry. It don't get for me. I just can't. And um, if I'm gonna eat greens and you have turkey breast in your greens, and I mean, or whatever that smoked turkey leg in your greens, and I, I mean, you know, I'm sorry, your greens aren't given. Um, you know, they're snagging, sweetie. Um, I don't care. You know. So what? Stick with your, your turkey drumstick, and I'm going to stick with my uh, smoked ham hock because that's what I like. Um, yeah. Anyways, moving on. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do homemade mashed potatoes. And um, what else do I have? Um, yeah, macaroni and cheese. Uh, and um, some uh dressing i did fried chicken buffalo chicken and some honey ham for my son's girlfriend some people call it dressing some people call it stuffing i think it's the same thing isn't it oh i really do i don't know comment below you guys what is your favorite thanksgiving side uh or thanksgiving what do you like to have for thanksgiving you know, let me know. I like to know, you know, what people's favorite thing is. I know some people say their favorite thing is cornbread. I hate cornbread. Oh, I just don't like bread though. I'm not a big bread eater, you guys. And I know bread for a lot of people, you know, I know a lot of people like bread, but I'm just not a big bread eater. And I'm kind of glad because it bloats you. But um, yeah, um, and then I'm not big on mac and cheese because I'm lactose and um, yeah, so, you know, that's something I do like mac and cheese, but. It depends. I don't like dry mac and cheese, honey. If it's dry and crusty because you put it in the oven and bake it too dang long and it's all crusty and the cheese all hard, you can keep that thing. I don't want it. Um, yeah, I don't want that. I like soft mac and cheese. Um, if it's soft and you got me, sweetie, um, what else? Um, what else do I like? Oh, I'm a turkey girl. I can care less for ham. My husband's more of a ham person. But I love turkey. Some people say, oh, turkey's dry. I know, I don't know what kind of turkey you be eating, sweet, because I've never had dry turkey before. Maybe whoever made it for you made it too, they um, cooked it too long or something. Or, you know, 
dark meat to me is way better than white meat. So, um, I'm not being racist, <laughs> but don't go there. <laughs> I do think the white meat may be a little dry though when it comes to turkey. So maybe that's it. But uh, yeah. Anyways, you guys, I love to talk, I love to ramble, and this video I'm gonna try to edit to where it's not too long, but hey, it might be a little over 30, 30 minutes. And uh, I hope you um I hope you guys are okay with that. I hope so and then you know vlogmas you know I'm going to try to keep the videos you know 30 minutes or less I'm gonna try you guys um, you know just you know feel free to comment below and let me know if they're too long and I will make it my business to make them shorter but you know sometimes I ain't gonna lie I do like long vlogs sometimes because when I'm bored honey and I'm just sitting around the house just watching Malachi and MJ scream and go crazy. Um, it's kind of entertaining to sit back and watch people's long vlogs, you know. So, yeah, I guess if they're entertaining, then it's awesome. I don't think I'm that entertaining, though. But. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, it is what it is. You do you, and I'm going to do me, boo. Period. You guys... My hair is, this, this, this shrinkage is real. But you know what, I do like the fact that that shampoo has a great slip on it. And yeah, my hair is like really, really soft right now. So, you know, I don't use a blow dryer on my hair. I kind of let it air dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to probably put my hair in a one bun, one pony. I don't have a ponytail on right here. So I'm gonna um, probably put a clip in it and then put that, uh, put my little um, towel thingy, um, hair drying towel on my head. And then when I get into my bedroom, I'm going to put it in a ponytail and probably put a silk scarf on and just let it, you know, dry with a silk scarf. So, yeah, but I'm loving the fact that right now, my hair is so soft. It's not tangly at all. So, what I use in my hair has it bouncy, you see that? Nothing's tangling, nothing's snagging. The slip is, sorry about that, you guys. So. I am running out of space on my camera right now. I have oiled my hair. I'm getting ready to be done. I'm just gonna comb it and put it in a ponytail. But you guys, do what makes you happy. Until next time, I am now about to end this video before it cuts out on me again. I love you guys and thanks for watching. Bye.